Okay, number two. Uh, which of the following structures uh, spans, structures slash spans, uh, are the most likely? So let's run through them. Uh, concrete joist pan construction with 18 foot spans. B, structural steel wide flange framing plan with 35 foot spans. C, open web steel joist spanning 65 feet to masonry bearing walls. D, two by 12s at 16 inches on center with 24 foot spans. So this one you may think is about something like, well, what, what tab am I gonna go look at? Uh, it's not really about that. This one is actually sort of meant as a, a little bit of a uh, false uh, flyer or whatever they call it. That, that uh, this is really just, some of these make sense and some of them don't. So let's get rid of the ones that just clearly don't make any sense. So one of them is two by 12s at 16 for a 24 foot span. Uh, with an office type loading, there's really no way you could do a 24 foot span with a 2x12. 2x12s uh, might, uh, with a very good like Doug fur or something like that, you might be able to get to uh, about a uh, I don't know, 20 foot span, an 18 foot span, something like that. But you wouldn't be able to get to a 24 foot span. You could with eye joists and with a number of other wood products, but not with, uh, not with something that simple. Plus, uh, it just, uh, it's just not a sort of doesn't logically fit with the uh, commercial grade of the uh, project. So I'm gonna X that one out. Uh, and then C, uh, open web steel joist spanning 65 feet to uh, masonry bearing walls. Now there's a bunch of reasons why I might choose to do that. I might say, I don't wanna have any columns. I wanna have this be wide open and flexible. Uh, but if you imagine an office building, a multi-story office building with 65 foot uh, open web steel joists, uh, those things are going to bounce like mad, right? That's just not believable unless there's some really strong reason why you'd want to have that clear span open space. Those are going to be very expensive. They're going to bounce a lot. Uh, it just doesn't fit to the office use in a sort of normal parlance. And there's nothing in any of the documentation that says, oh, and we need to have clear space, clear floor areas. So I'm going to get rid of C as well. So then the real question is just between A and B. And uh, A and B are both sort of plausible. Uh, one of the sort of interesting things here uh, that often happens with the NCARB uh, questions is you have more than one plausible answer uh, that, you know, uh, they actually have said uh, that they don't, they don't really see it that way but uh, pretty much everybody agrees that they often have more than one plausible answer. It's just that one is a better answer than the other. Uh, and this would be an example of that. And uh, a joist pan system for concrete, that 18 foot uh, distance, the 18 foot span, it's just not for new construction. Joist pan is very robust. It has a lot of capacity. Uh, it's uh, a much higher capacity than just a regular flat slab or flat plate type uh, uh, concrete slab. Uh, and with a flat plate concrete slab in a uh, uh, office setting, I can easily go 20, 25, even 30 feet uh, with one of those. And the joist pans are even more robust than that. So an 18 foot span just doesn't feel right. It just, it's too short a span, it'd be too expensive. And why would they want to have columns every eight, 18 feet? That just doesn't really uh, make any logical sense in, in this kind of a situation. So the sort of natural one, the one that's most likely in this scenario would be the wide flanges with a 35 foot span. Wide flanges, their sort of uh, sweet spot is going to be anywhere from about uh, 30 foot, so you know, even down to like 25 feet, something like that, up to about 40, possibly even up to a little higher than that. So if you think of it as 30 to, to 40 in that range, that's probably the sort of sweet spot for most wide flanges. So we're gonna go with B, uh, structural steel wide flange framing with 35 foot spans. Mm -hmm.